I coach and tutor many bubble app builders each week and a lot of them are making really exciting AI powered apps and most of them in actual fact all of them that I've worked with so far are using OpenAI's API to power their apps. They're, um, they're tapping into the same power that powers ChatGPT uh, and they're using uh, mainly GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4. Well, we've got a little bit of exciting news today, and if you are using OpenAI, then take this as your encouragement to try out Claude 3. Because based on this table where they claim they've collected over 400,000 human preferences, basically people get to vote on the output of different AI models, and it's all gone through a like statistical algorithm, and we get a table like this. And uh, at the top, what do we see? We see Claude 3 Opus. As a reminder, if we go back to uh, Claude's press release, uh, we can see that Opus is their most expensive and yet also their most powerful model. Uh, in terms of pricing, there's a slight difference, but think of it like GPT-4. Um, but here's where it gets interesting. As you scroll down, you can see, right, so we go past some GPT-4 previews. There's Bard. Uh, then we've got Sonnet, which is their mid-range model. Uh, and then we've got another GPT-4, and then we've got Haiku. And Haiku is the baby of the Claude 3 models. It's so cheap, uh, and yet we're seeing here that it outpowers uh, other GPT-4 models, uh, more powerful than Claude 2. Uh, and yeah, look, we have to scroll all the way down to the 14th place to get a GPT 3.5 turbo. And definitely, don't quote me on the, the direct kind of uh, token, how many tokens you get figures, but uh, you should really do a price comparison and an assessment within your app of the difference between using GPT 3.5 turbo and using Claude 3 Haiku. Because at least according to these early results. Remember that Claude 3 has only been out for a few days, a few weeks even at this point. And so you'll see that you know Claude has not got as many votes as, as some of the GPT-4 preview models. Um, but I've been saying this for a few months now. Anthropic are a serious competitor to OpenAI. And if you have just been using the OpenAI Playground to build your prompts and you've been using Bubble to build no-code apps with AI integrated into them, then yeah, this is your prompt. <laughs> this is your prompt to go and try out Claude 3, to try out each of the models available and to see whether you believe that it outperforms OpenAI's uh, GPT models. And I'd really love if you could leave a comment down below if that, if you tried it, and uh, disagree with me, I mean, not me, I mean, disagree with the very early data that's come out about which is best, please do, please report your results uh, in the comment section down below because I'd be really interested to know uh, as uh, based on the data, I'm starting to recommend Claude to people. I'm saying, have you tried Claude 3? Uh, because lots of people, they know ChatGPT, they may have heard of OpenAI, they probably haven't heard of Anthropic. So here it is, go to Anthropic, and try out the Claude 3 uh, chatbot large language model. Uh, and yeah, let me know how your results are going and what sort of feedback you get. And if you're learning Bubble and you're wanting to build no-code apps with AI, then follow the link down in the description because we've got hundreds of Bubble tutorial videos where we go really in depth uh, and some beginner content on how to build no-code apps with Bubble.io.